Hey, uh, previous know about I'm Bam, back there from James, back there from if uh, we're in the county. Anyway, uh, previously on our videos, you saw us do a hut. So, well, the hut is done. So now they want us to take their kitchen table. They give them the pattern that they want. So this, all the chairs are going to be black. The legs of the table are going to be white. The top, we're going to keep it natural. Just put polyurethane on. So what I'm starting today is starting just to sand these down so that we can. Uh, the paint adheres to it. Uh, we're going to be spraying it. Uh, this time we're just going to spray black. They provided the paint for us, and so uh, we're going to be spraying them. It'll make it a lot faster. Um, and so anyway, I got to get started. What I'm starting out with is kind of hard to see, but this is actually 150 sandpaper, and I'm just going along with 150. Then I'll move to 220 sandpaper. Uh, what that means is. It's the grit level, right? When you talk about 80, that, that's heavy, heavy grit, and this is lighter grit. So I'm starting out just rubbing back and forth with 120, then eventually I'll end up with this, okay, which is 320. That's real, real, real fine. So all I'm doing is cutting, cutting this down. So this will all take this, what it looks like I'm having. Uh, I'll wipe her down blow her off and then we'll be able to spray them so i got six of these to do let me get started back it's kind of hard to see this seat but it's got some scratches on it so what i'm going to do is this is a palm sander again the reason it's palm sander is because you hit it with your palm and it activates it and i've got 220 it's a light grain uh grit give me sandpaper so see what happens Now I'm going to wipe it down with a, my rag and see what it looks like now. A little better. So I'm going to hit it one more time. Alright, now I'm going to wipe it down with a, my rag and see what it looks like now. A little better, so I'm going to hit it one more time. enough it's, it feels real smooth now I got one little place right here I've got to do some, a little bit more but the rest of it's real smooth and the paint should be able to uh, cover all these scratches In this application, <laughs> uh, using chemicals to remove these layers of paint because this particular one looks like it's been too close to the stove and has some grease debris on it, it's too time consuming. I have to wear heavy duty gloves. These babies right here, heavy duty gloves. And you know, I can't be around, I've got to be outside with it. I cannot be inside with it. So it's just. Uh, you know, I'm putting more and more on it, and it's just, uh, in this application, uh, 
for a furniture like this, it's got so many turnings to it. Uh, it's just not working too good. But anyway, I'll finish this and go back to sanding the others. So I learned the hard way that with too many delicate turnings, that chemical is not the way to go. I spent an hour and a half trying to clean up that mess that the chemicals have made. So now I'm just going back. The main thing I'm trying to do is knock down this shine and make it so this will accept the paint that we're going to be spraying. All right, so we're going to be spraying a black paint and I'm just knocking down the shine using 150 grit sandpaper. You know, it looks like this, 150. Okay, I'm cutting it into little strips, which you can't see, but anyway, it looks like this, okay, little strips, and then I'm just kind of going back and forth. Now, I know that's kind of hard to see, but it actually says, made in Yugoslavia, <laughs> so... Uh, this would be like a collector's item. Uh, if my understanding is Yugoslavia does not exist anymore. It got busted up into, what, two or three different countries? So this furniture was actually made in Yugoslavia. It's just kind of hard to see it. But that's what that little sign says. Made in Yugoslavia. <laughs>